Bulk product sampling ensures the raw material being used in drug products are consistently safe and effective. We encourage customers to follow a similar sampling procedure as TAPI performs in order to ensure consistency in the analytical results. There are three phases for effective bulk sampling. First, prepare to take the sample. Second, collect the sample. And third, properly repack the bulk product after the sample is taken. Look for our full set of suggestions and a checklist in the text below the video. Sampling should take place in a standard GMP certified powder handling suite, which is accessed through a pressurized airlock. The airlock serves as a barrier to keep contaminants from entering the sampling room and API product from leaking out. After bringing product drums into the sampling room, it is important to read the label carefully before opening the drum. Verify the material name, ID number, and batch number. Look for notes which may indicate the presence of desiccants or other special storage conditions. Before opening the drums, set out all of your sampling tools. To ensure worker safety and reduce the risk of foreign materials contaminating the sample or bulk product, the technician needs to dress in full protective equipment before opening the drums. With preparation complete, you are ready to take the sample. Most TAPI products are packaged in double bags, an external aluminum bag and an internal polyethylene bag. Open the drums, carefully cut open the external bag, then cut the zip tie on the internal bag, ensuring nothing falls into the powder. Using a large spoon or bulk sampler, carefully and thoroughly mix the contents of the drums. The number of drums you sample will vary based on the type of product and recommendations outlined in regulatory guidelines. Here, we are demonstrating the sampling of one drum. Collect powder from a few different spots in the drum, top, middle, and bottom, about 30 grams each. Taking a large sampling and later dividing it to get the amount you need is the easiest way to ensure the sample is representative. Combine all of the samples in the sample packaging and mix them together. From the sample packaging, measure out one representative sample. You may also use a riffle sample divider to further divide the sample. Place it in the container going to the lab. The container should be the same type of packaging used for the bulk product, noting any requirements for desiccant or light protected packaging. Seal the sample and send it to the lab. Return excess material to the open drums, distributing it equally. To reseal the bulk product, remove the air from each internal bag and close it with a zip tie. If desiccants were placed in the external bag, replace them with new ones on both the top and bottom of the package. Reseal the external aluminum bags with a fixed or handheld weld sealer, close all of the drums, then return them to the proper storage place. To get the best results from product sampling, remember to follow these three main phases. Prepare to take the sample, collect the sample, and properly repack the bulk product after the sample is taken. TAPI is your API partner. We are committed to working with you to ensure that your sampling process is effective and safe. For potent materials or other special products, TAPI may provide additional sampling suggestions.